Welcome back to the program. Now, for more on our top stories and others, please visit our website. It's channelstv.com and youtube.com forward slash channelsweb. You can also watch us on the go on your mobile device. Log on to m.channelstv.com or even download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS and Windows phones from their respective stores. And of course, having the Channels TV and Channels 24 app will give you access to news and updates. You also have the eyewitness feature, so you too can be part of the news. Just install the app, then tap and swipe to reveal the eyewitness menu, and then follow the instructions to share those pictures, videos, or news of happenings around you. Now we're still in Edo State, and the state government is increasing reconstruction work on major roads in Benin City, the state capital, as part of effort to decongest traffic in the metropolis. The Director of Construction at the State Ministry of Works, Engineer Obano John, says a total of 27 kilometers across 29 roads within Benin City are currently being worked on. Since Governor Gordon Obasaki government assumed office late last year in Edo State, 29 intra-city roads across Benin Metropolis have been receiving attention. Among them are Wire Road and TV Road, where the roads were rehabilitated, while Second Ugbo and Ikuma Roads and GRA access were given facelifts with rigid pavement constructed due to the environmental situation of the area. The essence of this road network is to create free flow and accessibility as much as possible and all year round. For some residents living close to these places, the gesture has helped to improve their businesses and they want the state government to continue with the good work. We are very happy. God made this road before. All this road is very bad, but now you can see that it's something so beautiful. Before now, they couldn't pass here. They passed through the other side. So here is like a it's like a, like a forgotten road, but for now you can see tram flow, and as they pass here, as they passes here, they see our business and it promote our business. The way we are seeing the governor work in the town today, the, the Edo people are happy, are happy. We are God, a very good governor, and we pray that God will continue leading him and be doing this work as we are seeing it. The government has promised to fix more roads across the three senatorial districts of the state as it aims to make the Edo people feel the impact of government wherever they reside. We're still talking governance and this time it's in Kogi State where the state government is seeking ways to empower members of road transport unions in the state through soft loans to change the face of transportation there. Now, Governor Yahya Bello gave this assurance when members of various unions paid him a curtsy call at the government house in Lokoja, the state capital. Shortly after the inauguration of Governor Yahya in 2016, the bad portion along Lokoja Township roads were rehabilitated and the ones within the local government areas were constructed. This developmental plan of the governor pleased residents, especially the transport union in the state. Malam Aliu Akaba. This informed the meeting where they showed appreciation while seeking more government attention on infrastructure development. I must confess to you this evening that all your projects are physical and it is accessible. The chief of staff to the governor, Edward Onoja, reassures the transporters that government will consolidate on its promises while appealing to them to also support government in its developmental plans. What that does for our brothers here is to ensure that their shock absorbers are going to last longer and they will not need to visit mechanic workshop every day by day as it used to be before. Governor Yahya Bello in his keynote address is promising residents that his government will revive the Ajokuta Steel Company and the Ibaji oil well. Efforts are on to make sure that Ajakuta is revived. We have a request that we are putting before the NNPC and Mr. President. Obajana, and I added one, Okaba Kool, 
and all other mineral deposits in Kogi State that are being uh, illegally mined, we are taking steps towards making sure that our resources work for us. With all these assurances coming from the state government, residents are hopeful that the days ahead will be better. Away from Kogi State, the acting director general of the National Institute of Policy and Strategic Studies, Kuru, Mr. Jonathan Juma, and his team are in Enugu State in southeast Nigeria, seeking ways to facilitate rapid development to the state and the country uh, through science and technology, agriculture, and agro allied industries in Nigeria. Now, the state governor, Ifai Uguayin, is excited that the outcome of the five day study tour of the team will contribute to what the state is doing in the sector and is given an assurance of his administration's support. Agriculture has of course been identified as a key alternative source of income when it's close to the aid of science, technology and innovation which will apparently offer us very viable pedestal realization of our current aspirations for the national economy. Here in Enugu State, Government is fully cognizant of this emerging development as a consequence of the back on initiatives and programs aimed at creating greater awareness, promoting innovations and attracting investment that will facilitate the exploitation of the vast agricultural, technological and industrial potentials of the state. I am certain that details of this effort and others on the drawing board we made available to you in the course of your interaction with relevant agencies, institutions and stakeholders in the state. From the southeast, let's move over now to the south-south and the Nidra Police and the Independent National Electoral Commission in Crossover State say the ongoing continuous voter registration exercise has been hit-free across polling units in the 18 local government areas. Now, the Commissioner of Police in the state, Hafiz Inua, and the Administrative Secretary of the Commission, Peter Okwara, have been monitoring the exercise at some registration units in Calabar, the state capital. The Commission asks those eligible for registration to visit any of these centers between 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., Mondays to Fridays, excluding public holidays. You come there without your card, you will not be allowed to vote. So we encourage people to come out and vote. Whatever the problems you have with registration, there are staff on ground there at the registration centers to address your problems and make sure that we have a hitch free registration exercise. We have not seen any threats or noticed any threats like that. The exercise is going on well. There is no political party that is either complaining uh, against one another because all of them believe that the exercise is for the good and every political party. The Central Naval Command in Bayelsa State has extended its monthly medical outreach to Sagbama local government area of the state. Now, Rear Admiral Obed Ngabalak, who officially flagged off the free medical outreach, assured the community that apart from providing security and safety on its waterways, the Navy is also passionate about their health. I will tell them to please uh, stop their criminalities, join hands with us, and uh, fight all this uh, good oil, uh, uh, breakage, vandalism, and other things, so that they, they can look at the bright side of life. They will do better by doing things properly instead of doing it illegally. They, they stand to gain more. And you know, the government is trying to bring this idea of even using the uh, mod modular uh, refineries to, in to, in to encourage them to, to enhance their activities. So the government is looking for ways of helping them instead of doing things illegally. They should please join government to support the change the government is giving. Still ahead on the program, we're off to Benue State where the state government flags off rural health missions for its people. Stay with us. <laughs> 